Hello everyone, what is going on and welcome back to our My Player Career Mode. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch one of my videos. Hope you're having an awesome day and I hope that you are feeling fantastic as well. Bit of a shorter episode for you today, but we do still have four matches coming your way. All post-commentary, starting with a huge second leg tie against Valencia. If you missed the last match, it's 2-2 right now on aggregate and we welcome them to our ground, knowing we need a big performance. But it's the quarterfinals of the Champions League. We know this game won't be easy. Valencia showed that they can match us and we have to be at our very, very best here. And things did not start off as we were hoping. 18 minutes in, a rude awakening because they took the lead, not only on the night, but on aggregate as well. And we really struggled in the first half to really threaten their goal. Honestly, it was a terrible first half performance from us. And um, it looked like it was going to be a very, very bleak night, to put it bluntly. Um, it looked like we might well be heading out of the Champions League. But sometimes you need a bit of luck. And that is what came our way. 30 minutes from time. The ball found here by Rafinha. Out to Davies. He put the cross in. A mix up by Valencia at the back. And I honestly don't know how he turned this ball into the net. But... It happened and the score was 1-1. One, one. Um, you can see we just get a 50-50. Get a little bit lucky and that's exactly what we needed. But when you're in this sort of game, you need someone to step up. We'd already got one on the night. And look at this for a touch by Kingsley Coman. Great ball into my feet. Weaker right foot. 2-1 Bayern. Within 12 minutes, we scored twice to give us the advantage. Talk about a bad first half. Talk about a great second half because that is what we were seeing here. Two on the night for us. And look at the Bayern fans inside the ground. They were loving life all of a sudden. And uh, yeah, I was feeling pretty good at this point. Momentum was on our side. I knew that with three minutes to go, if we got another chance for the hat trick, there was every possibility we'd get it. And uh, you can see as Tolisso finds Rafinha, he plays it to Coman. Coman to Tolisso, off to Roberto. Brilliant delivery, right on the money. And look at this for a celebration. Q celebration time. Because Bayern are heading to the semi-finals of the Champions League. A hat-trick on the night for us as well. It's the stuff that number nines are made of. And we certainly showed up as Bayern's number nine on the night. Yeah, first half, I genuinely thought we were going out. Um, it just didn't look like it was going to be our night. But we turned on the style. And that's exactly what we needed. Full-time, 3-1, 5-3 on aggregate. It'll be interesting, actually, to see who we will face in the semi-finals. I know, and you're about to see the draw in just a moment. But before that, we collect the match ball and say a little, well, hello to the Bayern fans. Not really. Well, a little wave anyway. Um, they know they've seen a special performance there. It's not often that you have to show up and score all three goals, but that's exactly what we did. And Spurs, ladies and gentlemen, are our semi-finals opponents. So we've just managed to get through Valencia. Let's see what we can do against Spurs. And you will see the first leg of that as the final match of today's episode. So don't go anywhere because we are going to see how we perform in that one. Until then, though, two Bundesliga matches to go. A match day 30 saw us take on RB Leipzig where we were looking to carry on our form from that Champions League fixture against Valencia. 35 minutes in, we were able to create a chance, looking for the top corner. Goalkeeper made the save, but it was one-way traffic. It was all Bayern Munich. Leipzig did not create anything to worry us, but they were doing a good job of keeping us out. As Kimmich found me, we found Rafinha. He went close, just wide. And then uh, not too long later, actually, 62 minutes now, we throw the ball to Kimmich. A quick one-two. Now the ball inside, eventually it goes towards Rafinha. He finds Komen, who couldn't quite turn the ball into the goal. But with three minutes to go, they clear a free kick, but they don't clear it very well. And the ball eventually falls the way of Luis Alberto for him to smash it into the top corner and make it 1-0 Bayern. Fair reflection on how the game was panning out. And uh, yeah, we deserved this goal, deserved the three points. And that exactly, or that is rather exactly what we got. Three points closer to the Bundesliga title. And for some reason as well, the scoreboard bugged out during this. As you can see, the Bayern fans were going crazy. Um, and actually, when we take on Freiburg next, the scoreboard stays on for that. Um, but it does fix itself pretty quick. So don't worry, it does end up going off in a moment. Speaking of Freiburg, here's that game. As uh, we were notified before kickoff, we scored four in our last three. But I don't know if that counts the Champions League goals. 
in which case three was in um, one match. And I, uh, I always laugh when I see stats like that because they can get heightened if you score like loads of goals in one game. And then it comes up with like three goals in the last three matches when in actual fact, you didn't score in the last two or something like that. But uh, anyways, Freiburg match day 31, uh, we were notified of a goal for Dortmund from Holland, And as soon as I got notification of that, I decided to go for goal myself, but was kept out by Costa. And then the uh, scoreboard fixed itself. 13 minutes in, as the corner comes in from Rafinha, penalty given for handball. Penalties, not one of my strong points, as I applaud the referee. Great decision, ref. Um, yeah, had to uh, really zoom in on that. <laughs> I mean, it's not a great decision, to be honest. Not sure it's handball, but we'll take the penalty anyway and look to score it. We go to the bottom left. Um, I normally go here in real life. I keep going here in the game and unfortunately miss as uh, the penalty was saved. Coman then goes close. Costa again denies us as it was seemingly frustrating for us in the first half. Then Freiburg, they had a chance, a rare chance of that as well. Hit the side netting. And then we got back on the front foot. Coman's ball down the line. We give it chase and we're looking for a ball back into the middle. You eventually see it does fall the way of Coman, who I thought had given us the lead. But Costa, I mean, he was having a fantastic first half performance. Denied him. We had six corners inside 35 minutes. That showed you the dominance that we were having here. Coman's ball found me. We play the ball across and finally the breakthrough by Joshua Kimmich as uh, he fired us in with a captain's goal. Breaking the deadlock and maybe, just maybe, giving us a bit of breathing space now as Freiburg had to try and go on the offensive to get back in the game. That should give us a bit more space to play with. Os Komen, again, goes unbelievably close. Another fantastic effort off the crossbar and then uh, another penalty given. I mean, you do get some funny ones with the handball, but then some of the time when it's like a blatant handball, you just think to yourself, surely got to be given. This time around, went to the left side again. Are you expecting to see a similar outcome? Yes. Two penalties, two misses. Maybe the left side is just not the side to go from now on. As wasn't my day. It just was not my day. But Wolfsburg get an equaliser anyway against Dortmund. As Freiburg get an equaliser against us. Missed two penalties, ladies and gentlemen. Missed a sitter as well. And that's how the game finished. So I had to hang my head in shame. Played unbelievably well against Valencia. And then I do this. And I show you the match facts after the game. 17 shots we had. And we failed to win it. That does not bode well when you're playing a semi-final first leg against Spurs away at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I wasn't feeling too good heading into this, to, uh, to put it bluntly. But we had to pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off. And look to try and make the difference here against Spurs. It's a fantastic ground, this. And obviously, as an Arsenal fan. Um, yeah, don't want to be saying that. And I would love to knock Spurs out. But seven minutes in, Bergvine down the right-hand side. Early cross into the box. Jill challenging. We don't clear it very well at all. Paqueta back to Bergvine. He then finds Harry Kane. Kane makes it 1-0. Well then, is this a position you want to see us in? Are we about to have a disadvantage heading into leg two? Spurs, to be fair to them, were looking good. Paqueta causing problems, finding Bergvine. Eventually goes back to Paqueta. Neuer makes the save. Sane's ball through for us to chase. We managed to get in. Find Musiala, you're thinking, surely 1-1. Musiala, though, denied by Lloris. And it was uh, five minutes from time. Before we saw the next chance, Paqueta again. You're seeing it. He's a recurring theme in this first half. He was making things happen. Kane to Bergvine. Not sure how the ball stayed out. Manuel Neuer, top, top stuff from our goalkeeper. And then came a change. The start of the second half. Musiala off. Quarantine Tolisso coming on. And the reason this was important was because 46 minutes in, Tolisso, edge of the penalty area, smashes it in. Tottenham won, Bayern won. As soon as he came on, he got us the goal to draw his level. And look at this for a celebration, by the way. I really love this. Little, uh, well, I guess we're the next boy band, um, judging by that celebration. But um, anyway, 1-1 one, one and game on. And with that little momentum shift, we felt we could go on and win the game. And we were so close to taking the lead. Look at this for an effort. Tolisso finds me. Curl it top corner. Off the crossbar. Unlucky. 15 minutes from time, we had another opportunity to try and take the lead as the ball found its way towards this left-hand side. 
The ball into the middle, we get our head to it, and Lloris saves, and that was the end of the match. 1-1, heading into the second leg, again a draw, moving into leg number two. We had it against Valencia, we have it again against Spurs, and that'll be in the next episode. I want to say a massive thank you for watching this one. If you did enjoy it, a like would be greatly appreciated. As always, if you aren't around here and like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below. Have a fantastic day. Have a fantastic evening and stay safe, everyone. I will catch you all with the next episode very, very soon, probably on Friday. And it will be live commentary as well. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. But until next time, adios.